Hi, my name is Mark Morton. I'm the sous chef from Jack's Fish House in Boulder. And today I'm going to show you how to properly shuck an oyster, as well as prepare it for grilling with butter, garlic, and Parmesan cheese. So, first things first, I always like to keep my oysters on ice. Um, it's very important to keep them cold. Uh, they are alive, so they do need to stay cold, or else you could, they can die. Um, secondly, it's always important to have an oyster knife. Uh, an oyster knife is going to have more of a pointed tip to where it'll help you find the hinge in the back of the oyster. So a clam knife is going to be rounded uh, where an oyster knife is pointed. So that's how you can tell the difference. So today we're going to use East Coast oysters. Uh, we're going to use our Emerson oysters, uh, which are our house oysters. And uh, East Coast oysters tend to be better for cooking preparations because they tend to be a little meatier and they're a little bigger in size, so they hold up to grilling, frying, sautéing, uh, smoking a lot better than a West Coast oyster. So today, for shucking, you're going to need a cloth or a towel, your shuck knife, and then your oyster. So I want you to cover half the oyster and hold it down firmly, and then find the hinge. You can see the hinge right here in the back of the oyster. That's your entry point for the shuck knife. So we're going to go ahead, go right in here, give it a little bit of a wiggle, and press firmly inward. And then on the top of the oyster, there is a muscle that connects it to the shell. So we're going to slide the knife along the top side to release it from the top of the shell, discard the top shell, and then under, underneath, there's also a connector to the shell that we're going to pop so the oyster is easy and nice and clean. So I'm going to continue here and shuck the rest of these. We're going to discard that. So if you run into an oyster like I did the last one that seemed a little dry on the inside, uh, it's in your best interest to discard it. Uh, it means it's probably been sitting around too long and it's uh, probably not still living and it uh, could be detrimental to your health. So if you find an oyster like that, try to just throw it away and discard it. These are beautiful oysters, as you can see, nice and meaty. We've got a lot of the liqueur, which is the salty briny liquid that's inside the oyster, which is always delicious. Uh, see here again, we've got another dry oyster, so I'm gonna discard that. And yet again. Okay. So now we have our properly prepared oysters. And now we're going to get them ready to go on the grill. So first here I have some melted butter. Two tablespoons of garlic. And I'm going to mix these together. So this is uh, a similar recipe to one of my favorite places in New Orleans. It's called Drago's. Uh, they do, uh, it's one of the most memorable oysters I've ever eaten in my life. Uh, very similar to this with butter and garlic and then they finish with Parmesan and then charbroil it on the grill. It's a wonderful preparation. So put a little bit of the butter and garlic right on top. Don't worry if some slides off, it's okay. It's going to continue to slide off when you're cooking them on the grill. And 
then from there we're going to top with uh, Parmesan cheese and nice liberal amount of Parmesan cheese. And from here we are ready to go on the grill. So now we're all ready to grill. I've got my grill all fired up, nice and hot. I've got my oysters all prepared and ready to go. So we're gonna place them on the grill and get them going. So I'm gonna take my three oysters here, place them right on my hot spot. And since my grill is slanted down, uh, I'm gonna place the back end of the oyster where the cup is of the oyster on the downside so all the juice and butter and good stuff will stay inside there. So now I got my oysters on the grill and I'm gonna throw a cap over them and cover them for about four minutes. Let them sit until the cheese gets nice and melted and then we're gonna remove them and taste them. Okay, so now our oysters are ready to go. They've been on for about four minutes. As you can see, they're nice and bubbly and getting golden brown because the cheese is all melted. So I'm gonna remove them from the grill, put them on a separate plate right now. And now we're gonna plate. So what we have here is oyster salt. Uh, this is like very coarse rock salt, not the kind you use for your driveway. But if you can't find this in the stores, what you can do is take regular kosher salt and mix it with just a little bit of water until it's just at that point where it's kind of like the sand right where the water stops hitting the beach up at the top. So it's a little bit coarse and sticky. That'll help when you put it on the plate, it'll help hold your oyster in place. So now we're gonna go ahead and plate up these beautiful oysters. Throw one rock, one oyster on each bed of salt. Then I'm going to garnish with some freshly sliced chives. And finish with some mussel forks and some lemons. And here you have oysters charbroiled with garlic and butter and Parmesan cheese.